North Rest River Park is really a great spot to fish. Uh, Lake Lisa is about four and a half acres. In season, which trout season is from November through the end of April, it's stocked with rainbow trout, brown trout, and sometimes brook trout that the uh, Virginia Game and Inland Fisheries brings from its hatcheries up in the northern part of the state. So you can come here. There's a really great place to bring kids to learn how to fish. We have open space on the North Rose River you can go down and fish. I have a dock down there, a floating dock you can use. You can fish from the bank. A pond over in our Molly Mitchell picnic area you can fish out of. Two small ponds in the equestrian area. Now they're really small, so they have really small fish. But it's great for little kids, cane pole, bobber, and a worm, you're right there. So the winter is optimum time to come down here. If nothing's biting on the saltwater end of things, you know, the bass have stopped biting, we're bringing hungry trout in here. You know, it does require an additional trout license if you're over the age of 16. But if, you know, you're a parent and you don't want to get your own license, you can come down here. Your child can fish. You can help them bait the hook. You can help them get the fish off. You just can't fish the rod for them. But you can be right there. Uh, our park amenities, however, are closed. I can't rent you paddle boats. I can't rent you any kayaks and things like that. that you know, we'll, we'll reopen those as soon as the whole city reopens. And you know, we, go, we all look forward to doing that. Uh, when we are renting our own boats, you can also bring your own personal canoe or kayak here. It just has to be human power. We don't allow any motors, whether they're electric or, or gasoline, that are not allowed in this lake or any of our lakes. We have a launch at uh, Indian Creek at the, at the uh, west end of Northwest River Park. And I have a launch at Smith Creek, which is the east end of the park. Both of those are open for small boats. You can put a boat in there with a motor. Uh, it's a dirt launch, so it is limiting as to the size of the boat, but most boaters will figure that out on their own. We have a free fishing pier at Elizabeth River Park. That's still open. Um, the city pays for the license for that, so you don't need a saltwater license to fish there. As long as you're on our pier, it's free. Um, we have fishing at Great Bridge Locks Park, Battlefield Waterways, just places you can fish, and Battlefield Park South. All those are open for fishing. If you got seawater, you can fish. Oak Grove, I almost forgot Oak Grove. We have fishing platforms there. Nice lake, it's also stocked. Uh, again, Game Inland Fishery stocks that for us, so there's getting to be a good population of bass and small sunfish and brim in there. A great place to bring your kids. Summertime, I would say for shade and stuff, I'd probably either fish at Northwest River Park or Oak Grove. It's kind of shady. Uh, you know, if you're looking, especially with small kids, they're going to get overheated pretty quick. That's a good place to go. Uh, you know, Elizabeth River at uh, Great Bridge Locks Park, that's all saltwater. So you can catch, you can crab there, you know, and, and catch saltwater species. So it's not all just freshwater. We ask you to separate, keep your social distance, but come on out. If you've got a group of friends meeting, just keep distant. You can still enjoy the parks.